Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com here, and um, just wanted to mention, I uh, have been doing a lot of side extra kind of work, you know, you guys know that I do teach on Skype around the world, and I have a lot of students, and I also um, have a lot of CBT students, which is a, another type of teaching that you've probably heard me talking about, or heard about, custom video tablature lessons, um, but also, I've been getting... Um, several people lately, well, a couple of them have been doing this for a while and I just haven't really said nothing about it, but people that are wanting me to use my ears, not just one, but both, to transcribe whatever song or solo and just tab it out for them. Hi, Don. Vernicelli. Um, you're actually the first one that just had me, you know, not doing any videos of it, but just to tab stuff out. Um, some of the stuff Don has sent me over the months has been um, like people, guitar players on their channel that are uh, either playing kind of their own riffs. Um, a couple of them that I've done have been like demo things for Orange Amps and he liked the riffs the dude was playing in there. Um, but it can be anything like that, I mean, that you want tabbed out that you don't necessarily need a video for. It would be a little cheaper. It's a paid service, um, you know, but it would just be me handwriting the tabs and transcribing by ear. And you guys that have been following me know I'm a real stickler about it, man. I like to get every single note right. Am I 100% correct every single time? No, man. Who would be? But I do trust my ear, and I am meticulous, very meticulous about trying to get these stuff even down to the right string because you know you can have a riff played a uh, prime example just off the top of my head but say you have like a you know no how about a I know sounds like crazy chain or same notes different strings but there is a difference in tonality and I don't know if you guys hear that, but I had it on my neck pickup. Here's the, the bridge. I don't know if you noticed, but the secondary one is a little deeper in tonality because it's, on, it's being played on a thicker string. Um, a note on a thicker string, you go switch that to the next string down, play that exact same note, but just because that string is thinner in diameter, it's going to give you a little more tinty or trebly of a frequency, not quite as big sounding. So what I'm getting at is, you know, if I was doing this stuff for myself and wasn't even getting paid to do it, it's how I would want to do it. I just, it, it's like a challenge in my mind. I'm one of those people. I can't fix my cars. I can't fix the water heater when it breaks, my dryer, my wash machine, my refrigerator, nothing. I shouldn't have said refrigerator. You guys that have been with me for a while know, me and refrigerators don't get along. That's how I broke my back year and a half ago but anyways I figured I don't have any tutorials where I'm um, explaining that you know that is another side thing that I offer as a paid service is transcriptions um, I've actually been hit up by a few people that want me to do a complete I'm not going to mention the band's names but uh, to transcribe a complete album of a couple of these ones and I'm excited about that I love it man I love getting down to trying to get every single note right and pull off and all that stuff so I mean if you're one of those people that are a stickler and you want it learn you know because there's different ways you can play things it doesn't mean you're a bad player if you're playing you know the B on the second fret A instead of the seventh fret but sometimes it does affect the feel of the riff and how it comes across sometimes the guitar player may opt for a harder way of doing it there may be a simpler way of playing it, but he went for the heart, you know, so there's lots of ways me as a professional have to approach when I'm doing these things, but I know what to listen for. I love it. So basically that's all this tutorial is about. I'm not sure what to call it because it wouldn't be a CBT thing. It kind of is, but basically um, transcriptions I will do for you guys by ear and I just charge the hourly rate, which is what I charge for my Skype students and CBT lessons, which is $59 per hour. Um, I'm also pretty, I think, pretty quick at getting it. Um, and the thing is, if we're on this option, there's no video involved, so it wouldn't be 
um, as far as how much it would cost, it wouldn't be as much as a CVT lesson because we're, with that we're involving um, videos and edits and uploads and all that good stuff. So this is strictly tabs that would be handwritten. I would timestamp everything, um, subgroup everything, put a, a legend up top so you know you know what the symbol is for pinch harmonic palm mute vib mute. I'm mixing my words up. Palm muting vibratos, you know, gliss slides and and bends and whether it's a half step, quarter step, all that good stuff is notated. I write it at the top. And all those things are the things that you will find in that particular song or solo that you're having me transcribe for you. Um, fingering, pick directions, they're still very, very thorough. It's, it's like a CVT lesson in, in, the sen in that sense from the transcription part. It's just minus the video. So if that's something that's right up your alley that you would like me to do, like I said, I'm getting several emails um, of people like Don's a regular, uh, Jim is another regular that I have and sometimes he'll send me you know two, two or three for the week. Um, usually they're not full songs, they're just like intros, um, although the one he has for me this week it's kind of like a two, two and a half minute thing, but some of the parts repeat. But um, you just let me know, you know, if it's a timestamp part you don't want the whole thing, you would say, hey Mike, here's the, the, you, the video link that I've used and I want from two 12 um, in this video up to 303. I just can't get that part. Can you help me out? That's totally fine. It could be uh, actually one of them that I'm doing. It's like a like a five or six second part. Um, I have a couple of them that he's having me do, but the first one it's like a tapping thing where he's doing a reverse behind the neck tag back and forth thing. So it's quite a few notes crammed in there because it's a metal player. I forget his name. But, um, you know, um, my student really wants that part. So, I mean, it could be the smallest thing. It's not like it always has to be a complete three and a half minute, five minute song. I'll do whatever. So, if that's something you're interested in, email me rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com and mike at rockingguitarlessons.com. Tag me in both those emails. And, um, you know, if, if you're a first time uh, and you would be one of my students, just as my CVTs are and my Skype students, but. Um, I'll send you my cell number and just save you in. That's how I do it. Save you in it that way, because um, most of mine are repeat customers. So, um, a lot of you guys already know when you send me a text. You know, Jeff CVT. Oh, okay, I know which Jeff that is. That type of thing. But it's just quicker and easier, and I can. It's uh, you know, it's so much quicker just to text someone than you know, go email them, and they may not check their email for three, four days. Your song may be ready, or your riff. So. Um, email me, and that's it. If you don't mind, take these, share them um, around social media. Put the word out. That's one little favor, if you don't mind, if you could do for me. And um, we'll keep these songs coming for you here on the channel. Be sure you've subscribed to the channel. All right? I'm Mike Gross. We'll talk to you guys very, very soon. See ya. <laughs>